Welcome back to Gin Reviews of Middle Tennessee. It's been a few weeks, I guess. Um, I am constantly in flux over things, and I have a lot of bottles of gin to open up here, so uh, there's really no excuse for this, but uh, it's been a while, so I thought I'd do a special one tonight and uh, bring out the old Hendrix. Since I finally, finally got a bottle of Lunar, uh, I've only been waiting since last February, not last month, but February 2020, this came out in the UK, and uh, it, it, it didn't come over here because of uh, tax reasons, and uh, I found out um, that a lot of uh, alcohol, especially gin, out in the UK and Australia and a lot of other places where they make good gin, um, there's a tax... Uh, thing they have to wait for over a certain amount of time and then you know we can get a sample or a few bottles of whatever is out there <laughs> so anyway I've been waiting for this for a year a year so tonight's the night I finally we're gonna open this up um, I also have the original guy here and then the uh, first what do they call it there's a there's a there's a, a name for it here Uh, well, it says limited release, but it's like, um, I can't remember, huh? maybe it's on this one. Oh, the Cabinet of Curiosities. All right. So, uh, as stated before in a, in a video that I did, uh, this, this is my absolute favorite. Um, I, I, I'm going to go out and say it's my absolute favorite gin ever, uh, Orbium. This one here is it sets the bar so high and for a gin lover like myself it, it just delivers every single time every cocktail i've done every gnt i've had it just it stands out it shines um and then so so anyway so the, this is the original and this one here was the second release of the original and then this was the third release uh the midsummer solstice which is very floral uh, there's, you know, there's not a lot of, uh, information out there on the botanical list on, on these, which is strange, because you would think, I mean, Hendrix, well, here's a little thing on Hendrix that I got, um, the known botanicals on the original, or the originator is Angelica, ca uh, caraway, chamomile, coriander, cuban pepper, cucumber, elderflower, juniper, of course, uh, lemon, orange, orris root, rose, and yarrow. Yarrow root. Um, so they launched this in 1999 uh, from William Grant and Sons when gin wasn't really a diverse, thriving category as it is today. Uh, a clear callback to the gin's four barrows, the apothecary style bottles, boom, 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 suggest comparison to Geneva's and um, a time when gin was a medicine. The Edwardian error advertising campaign has helped make the brand a stalwart both in bars and in homes so um yeah rose and cucumber are the two botanicals that are distilled or they're not distilled they're actually added after the distillation so uh they were the first ones to to do this and um i'm not i'm not it's weird. I'm not the biggest fan of the originator here. Uh, I, I mean, it's a good gin. It's not anything, you know, horrible uh, on the scale that I've had. <laughs> um, it is a good gin. Uh, but it, like I said before, this one here, this Orbium here, is is the top notch. Number one. This one, uh, it's okay. I mean, I've, I've only had one bottle as per, say, the Orbium here. This is probably my... 20th bottle <laughs> I mean somewhere along those lines anyway um I thought you know it we do a little taste test of each one here like we do and uh, I'll just go over what I think I'm not gonna go too big here because I'm gonna do four shots and uh, a gin and tonic and I don't want to get too sloshed not yet, not yet anyway all right, so the originator here. Hmm. Like on the nose, I smell right away. I smell the cucumber and the rose. But if you didn't know what 
that was, you probably would think it's very floral um, and, and, and fruity at the same time. <clears throat> Excuse me. All right, well, let's do this. Hmm. Well, it is everything I read to you before. 41%, I believe? Or is it? No, it's 44%. Uh, it's it's everything I... All the botanicals that I was listing before, it's, it's definitely there. I mean, the classics are there. The Angelica, the Chamomile, the, I'm sorry, the, the Coriander... Um, the juniper, of course, that pops up in the middle. The, then the citrus notes. Um, but the rose and the cucumber really is what makes Hendrix Hendrix. So it's good. Like I said, it's not my absolute favorite gin. I'm still, I think I'm more into a uh, London Dry. I mean, I, I I use London Dry more so with cocktails than anything else because I, I really, uh, I know that. I know that style so well that I could I could just picture it, you know, before I do it. Ange is here. She's not showing herself, but she's off camera and she's okay. Right, Ange? Mara? Yeah. yeah, see? I told you. I wasn't making it up. Oh, excuse me. Uh, well, let's see here. Can I do this? Okay, so uh, we're going to go to the next one now, which was, as I already stated, about 50 times. My favorite gin look at that apothecary apothecary bottle here yeah, of scottish gin it's scottish and um i should mention that uh, leslie gracie is the master distiller um there's there's more women now uh out there distilling like this this year is is um oh i should know her name i shouldn't even have to look but joanne moore is the master distiller of bloom and uh so so women are you know they're they're starting to make their mark out there in the distilling world and then and it's it's incredible the uh the products they're putting out ah, that's a, this is an old one i just uh actually this bottle's not that old <laughs> between you and me and the wall and the cat anyway orbium let's do this one and i'll tell you what i think there, there, like that. Come on, there, you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There you go. Hmm. Okay, so Orbium has is the original has the original base gin of Hendrix, but they put lotus flower blossom, lotus blossom, wormwood, which is in uh, absinthe, um, and they do use quinine in the distillation in in one of the botanicals, which is I love. It's actually called. <laughs> A quintinated spirit, which is what uh, back in the day they used to make. Uh, they used to distill gin and put the quinine right into it, and then you had your kind of like your gin and tonic all together. Which is what this gin is so amazing for, because it does have the bitterness, but it also has the bite that you want, and the uh, the travel's nice. Damn it, she took away my... Mm, she didn't. Oh my god, it's so good. So... Okay, so the... Now that I'm trying them back to back like this, the original uh, is there. It's definitely present. I can taste the cucumber and the rose. Um, but the wormwood, which is... Uh, more an absent uh, botanical. It's definitely present. Uh, the lotus blossom comes out at the end with the rose. Um, so it is floral in that way. And then the um, the quinine, the, the bite, the... Uh, I love the eye in the middle there. Look at the eye. Isn't that cool? Man, I just sidetracked myself there. Anywho. The quinine is quite liberating. And... Uh, very very smooth even though it's a very bitter um substance it's uh it's very smooth at this moment which is something i dig slow water 
clear the palette here. All right, so we're gonna go into Summer Solstice Hendrix here and uh, let's do it. Hey, right, there we go. Hmm. Okay, so on the nose right away, it's very, very floral. Again, it's a, it's clear, it's a dislet, just like on every other dislet. <laughs> I don't know what the hell she's doing under the couch there, but she just uh just had enough of that, huh, Ange? You good? Hmm. Very, very floral. Hmm. Wow, you know, I haven't had this since like, I think about last year at some time when I got it. I didn't really even think it was that great at the time, but reliving it right now with the other Hendrix, it's um, it's not bad. Here's the bottle right there with all the little symbols and, <laughs> and such they got on these. It's really cool. I mean, if you get a minute to actually go on their website and uh, look them up if you haven't. It's really cool. Anyway, Midsummer Solstice is a limited release uh, from Hendrix uh, Gin Master Distiller Leslie Gracie. Infused with an array of natural floral essence in celebration of the eternal mysteries of the Midsummer Solstice. Blissfully with tonic of rice and a slice of cucumber and zest of orange. Uh, Blossoms is an altogether different dimension when served with uh, sparkling wine, a splash of tonic for the ultimate midsummer solstice spirit. Now, last summer, you know, we had the uh, pandemic. We still have the pandemic. Ugh. But um, it was a bitch of a summer for everyone, huh? Especially everyone that passed. I'm sorry to say that. But, um, yeah, it wasn't, uh, I wasn't too much into the whole... The whole program, I guess you would say, of the GNT experience. But I have been. Oh, excuse me. I just needed a little refreshment in between here. Something to clear the palate out. Because now I've just I've had three neat shots of gin. Going on my fourth, and uh, not even uh, red cheek, huh? Look at that. Look at that progress. Salute, eh? Anyway, this little bastard right here is what we're all about tonight. We're about to discover if it is a uh, winner, like the Orbium, or a loser. Okay. So, hey, anyway, this little tag here, I love saving these. Um, there's usually, like, little, like, drink recipes and something about the product. Like, there's the Moon Man on there, see? Oh, so anyway, let's let's read a little bit about Lunar now. I can't find a damn thing about the botanicals on this gin. In fact, I can't find a botanical list on um, Solstice over here, which is like you would think from from the makers of gin of 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 a comeback gin that like a revival that brought gin back into the limelight. You'd think that they would know that gin heads want to know. Uh, the botanical list. I mean, that's pretty much what we're going after most of the time. I mean, it's it's all about the highs and lows, the differences of, uh, of using like a certain moss or grass uh, compared to um, something perennial or even from the sea, as we discovered with our uh, uh, gray whale back there, right? And uh, Fishers. Where's Fishers at? Oh, I love that one. You know what? I might have actually finished the bottle. Huh. Happens. Um, anywho, <clears throat> Lunar. Okay, so we're at a 43.4%, which is not bad at all. I mean, it's right in the middle there. Um, infused with natural oils of the night. What the hell that means? I don't know. I, I mean, I even looked it up. There's no definition of that. I mean, are they trying to be cute? I don't know. Um, anyway, so this says here... Uh, Hendrix Lunar is a limited release conceived under the influence of moonlight. 
On many a night, you will find our master distiller, Miss Leslie Gracie, attending to the botanicals in her beloved distillery hothouse. It was here, one moonlit evening, that she was inspired. <laughs> inspired to create this rich, warm, and alluring liquid. I don't, you know what? Alright, let's stop right there. Whenever... Uh, <laughs> Whenever gin or any other spirit out there calls themselves a liquid, doesn't that just take away from what it is? I mean, a liquid, that sounds so like, just like water. Like, a, I, I, I see pool water in my head. I don't know why, but liquid. Anywho, it is decidedly delectable uh, with tonic and a slice of cucumber. So that's exactly what we're going to do. Well, without the cucumber, actually, because I'm all plumb out. <laughs> anyway, uh, let's open this guy up. There's for the cat. She loves these things. Oh, <laughs> it took away from my cork. That was horrible. All right, well, let's try to let's try to recreate it for everyone else. I didn't think it was going to open like that, but it just opened up. But here we go. Whoa! All right. All right, let's see here. Hmm. Well, I might know what those uh those mid no, not mid <laughs> those midnight oils or whatever the hell they were talking about might be here. Right, let's see. I have a Shot glass I haven't used yet. No, that one I used. I did. It must be the one here. Yep, that's the one. All right. So, hmm. Let's open it up a little bit. Hmm. I mean, right away I could smell. The original the originator of Hendrix here which is it's not bad it's 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 got like more floral it's got more of like a, a fruity bite like a, the, 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 the tip of the in inhalation process I, I don't know what I'm saying at this point I am getting a little red now so they're starting to catch up with me so let's just uh, let's hope uh, we, we salute and cheers and everything is good at this moment in time right that's all we could ask for Oh, wow. Oh, wow. I mean, okay, I definitely can taste, oh, wow, it's burning. It's traveling very, very nice, very smooth, right down the esophagus, right down to the stomach area there, the stomach region. Um, okay, so, as I don't know any of the botanicals in here, I'm guessing they're using the base spirit of Hendrix, which we already said, the Angelica, Caraway, Chamomile, Coriander, Cupid Pepper, Cucumber, Elderflower, Juniper, of course, Lemon, Orange, Orris Root, Rose, and Yarrow. I'm sure that's exactly what I'm tasting here, but there's also a facet of, of floral, like I said, floral and fruit. It's it's like, um, it's very, it, you know what, it, it, it's good. It's not like a really, it's not like a bad thing at all, but it's not, it's not Orbium, let's say that. It's not as like, it's not on the same scale here as this guy, but it is really, really good. I mean, it's not, um, it's not too far off. I mean, there's definitely some burn going on, which I love. Um, I wish I knew the botanical list, so like, so I could really give it to you guys, the, the straight and narrow. And if anyone out there can find it, please post it, you know? Uh, I'd love to see and, and uh, recant, maybe in a future video. Anyway, so right now I'm going to do the old uh, standby here of uh, gin and tonic. I'm going to use the uh, Goblet of Destiny here. Already got some ice right there. I love that. It's beautiful. All right, let's measure out... Uh, I'm gonna use the big guy here because I do like to go a little over on my gin, even though I've had a few shots already. 
we're just gonna go right up to like one and a half ounce. That sounds right. And the old beaver tree is right there, as it should be. And please don't fall, because that would suck right now. <laughs> All right, well anyway, I got gin in the uh, bulbous glass here. And uh, I'm going to try to put back this thing, lose it, and the cap so I don't really lose it. And there's the old pop, snap, and sizzle. <laughs> anyway, uh, salute uh, to your health and effervescent life. All you out there that, are, that have watched up to 20 minutes right now, I salute you. But I also hope that you are indulging in a few gin cocktails as we speak because I would love to have someone else out there enjoy gin as much as I do and uh, be able to communicate. <laughs> That's the word. Anyway, let's try without citrus. very good with the tonic. I right away I can taste the quinine mixing with the lunar oils. But uh, I'm gonna need to add citrus to this. So I'm gonna pull out the old grapefruit standby here and I'm even gonna, I'm gonna douse it in there because I think it needs a peel. Alright so a little bit of orange, uh, California, Valencia, a little lemon here. Lemon coming from uh, Mexico, which is fine. You know, I don't mind that. A Persian lime coming all the way from Costa Rica. Uh, Floridian citrus should be uh, should be making its presence. I mean, it, it has been, um, but presence as in when I go out to buy a you know bag of limes or lemons, it should be from Florida, but. I haven't seen too many except for the grapefruit that we just did that was from, uh, let me see, Pompano Beach, I believe. Oh, the sticker's not on that one. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's from Pompano. Which, you know, one of my old uh, stomping grounds. Close to it, anyway. Juno Beach. Juno. Remember that name? <laughs> Oh man, I'm, I feel like I'm back on Juno Beach right now, and um, I'm there at like almost sunset, oh, boom, sunset, almost sunset, like you're on the, on the beach and you're watching the tide just kind of wash out, and you're with someone you thought that, you know, was uh, supposed to be your everything. Ooh. Turns out she's not. She's into goats. So, anywho. Um, that happens, you know. It's part of life. And uh, Hendrix is starting to to really resonate <laughs> in the uh, cheekle re region of the face there. It's fine. Mmm. Oh, man. Well... I won't take any more of your time here. You already gave me 23 minutes, and I really appreciate that. So uh, I'll close by saying uh, from me to you, to you to me, and to everyone else out here in Middle Tennessee, except for the goat lady, I wish you a fine, uh, fond farewell, a good evening, a good morning, a good afternoon, whatever time of day you're watching this, rock on. Um, and please leave a comment. Leave a comment on the uh, GNT that you tried tonight, or the cocktail that that you were inspired to make. Not just you know from me and this crazy gin collection I got going on, but for everyone out there that's a gin head or a secret gin head, and uh, you live in Tennessee where it's whiskey country, and you gotta kind of you know you gotta be smooth out there. <laughs> I can tell I'm going to enjoy the fuck out of I mean, the hell out of this. Huh? 
a little bit better now that uh, I'm about what five shots in we should do a video like that see how many shots it takes until I black out that'd be fun huh fun for me only though you guys probably wouldn't <laughs> find that too much fun in fact some of you might find it alarming all right anyway uh i got like i already said the uh the outro there oh we're gonna put that right there you can't see it it's off camera it's off camera but it's there trust me it's right there safe everything's safe all right have a good night like i said good morning good afternoon whatever time of day it is just have a good man drink gin gin drink it it's delicious um oh by the way i uh, definitely like this one a lot more than i like the original one or, uh, and even the, the midnight solstice but orbium is definitely the winner here in this in this hendrix competition see how it's standing above the others all right that's it before i start really losing it and you see what happens at like three in the morning it's not fun it's really not especially for the future joe which is me, but future show. Anyway, good night. Have a good one. Take care and, uh, you know, peace.